The topic of this video is exploring the link between factors and their root zeros. In an earlier video, we looked at a problem that included factors such as x minus 3, x plus 6, and x, and we found that the associated roots were 3, negative 6, and 0. Let's see if we can discern a pattern here. The factor x minus 3 produced a root of 3. The factor x plus 6 produced a root of negative 6. The factor x produced a root of 0. There is a pattern here. Generally, a factor x minus r produces a root of r. Reversing this, if we know the root is r, we can create the factor as x subtract r, x subtract the root. So, for example, let's say we were solving a problem when we're told that the root is 3. That's r. Therefore, to create the factor, we would do x minus r, which would be x minus 3. Let's say we're told that the root is negative 6 and asked to create the factor. Negative 6 is r. So the factor is x minus r, x minus negative 6. But subtracting a negative is adding, and so the factor is x plus 6. Let's say that we know that the root is 0. What's the factor? x minus r, which in this case is x minus 0. Of course, subtracting 0 doesn't change anything, so x minus 0 is simply x. The pattern here is probably obvious, but worth stating out loud. The sign changes. If the root is positive, then the factor will have subtraction. If the root is negative, then the factor will have addition. And if the root is zero, then the factor is simply x. 